everybody, I'm back with the next layout that I want to re-scrap for National Scrapbooking Day 2018. This is the page that I've taken out of my old scrapbooking album, and um, as you can tell, I hardly even did anything. All I did was mat it twice, I picked out the blue and the red from the clothes, and then I, like, balked, I think. I was like, ooh, what do I do now? And um, yeah, I never went any further. So I definitely know that I need to re-scrap this photo. So here it is. Here it is now. Um, this is a four by six. So obviously what I'd done is I'd cropped it. I'd cropped it this way and I just blew it up to a five by seven and it's actually quite wrong. It's the dimensions are off. There's more on this side than there is this side. There's not a, enough space up here and I just, it's just not right. I obviously cropped it here because I didn't want this edge to show. So we're going to have to redo this one. So goodbye to this one. And this is the photo reprinted and this is the sketch that I'm going to go for. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to be grabbing the I'd Rather Be Crafting paper collection from the April kit from Antivira Scrap and Craft and I'm going to try to make a masculine layout. So from my previous one they've all been kind of soft or quite playful and I really want to make a boys page. Now this collection is really fun and bright. It's got a whole lot of pinks and greens and reds and blues but in a softer color um, whereas the colors here are like really rich red and really rich blue. So I am gonna try and make it a little bit more boyish. We'll see how we go. That's my challenge to myself anyway. So um, without further ado, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get started here and in usual Amira fashion, the first thing that I always do is I sit down and I measure stuff. So if the four by four photo there is four by four, the layout or the matting underneath it will be four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I'm just sitting here and I'm trying to measure out if the little squares were two by two, trying to measure out what that bottom area is there, which is three inches. And across the top there, if it's two, and two and two and two, that's eight, but that's definitely not two on each side for 12. So I changed it so that the squares were two and a half by two and a half, which changed the dimensions of um, <laughs> that bottom bit at the bottom there, which is why when you see my layout, my layout at the bottom will not have that empty piece. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized that my photo was not four by four. It wasn't a four by six photo, so I couldn't get a four by four. So really, I put away. <laughs> I really put away my calculations, and I just went <laughs> with what I had. I did end up going with a two and a half inch square, though, for the little bits. So, um, so that was. That was the thing I gained from doing my calculations, nothing else. I am now going through the paper pack. This is the I'd Rather Be Crafting by Echo Park. I am using a combination of the pattern paper and the solids pack. I thought it would look a little bit better uh, if it had alternating um, solids just to break up the patterns because they're so different and some patterns are big and some patterns are small. All right, so the next thing I do now is I'm going to grab all these papers and I'm going to cut them uh, into two and a half by two and a half squares. So then the next thing I'm doing here is I am going to map my photo. I chose black cardstock and as I said earlier, my photo is not four by six, so all I did was I measured a quarter on each side of the photo and put that down. I ummed and ahmed whether or not to cut this photo down. There is a lot on the right hand side, um, and I almost did, but then I realized that 
I love the white border around it and I didn't want to mess with that so I decided to keep it whole and then I thought that I would add some journaling on that empty space on the right hand side of the photo. I originally cut down just a few patterns and then I went back and I added that stripey one as well, it, it was sort of needed. And I felt that perhaps I needed one more matte and so I really loved that yellow. I know there's no yellow in the photo, but there is a little bit of yellow in some of the pattern paper that I used and so I went ahead and used that yellow as a second matte and I love it, it really brightens up the page. I'm now gonna go through the process of adding double-sided sticky tape to each of these squares and making sure that they are aligned perfectly on the grid paper. <laughs> Seriously, this took me a little bit of time because I agonized over uh, perfect placement and um, I didn't want them to be wonky and yeah, this is just, uh, these are the little imperfections in my soul that I find that I really should start letting go of because I'll have less anxiety uh, when I let go of these things. So um, yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna forward some of this. I also wanted to say that I chose that grid red paper background. I thought it was perfect. It comes from the collar of little Zach's shirt and uh, I thought it was just a perfect background plus it happened to allow me to line up my paper squares perfectly. Now that the squares are in place, I'm looking back at my sketch and I need to address this area of the title and the embellishments on top. I decided to use this little bit of vellum as the area where I want to put the title. And I'm pulling out the sticker pack. Now, I didn't get the sticker pack uh, in my unboxing video. I'm really sorry. I got it later though in an order I made with Antivira. So I'm just showing you now. The sticker pack is beautiful and it has four sheets. This sticker pack is jam packed with sayings and cute little ephemera and squares, which just happened to be so perfect for my squares. So I will be adding some of those squares to these squares. And I'm just having a look through now and trying to tell a story. I start off with placing a sticker on the photo on the right hand side there. And my aim is really to cover up that huge void on the right hand side of the photo. So I'm gonna grab a whole lot of sentiments here that basically describe how I'm feeling about this photo. So at first I use the sticker that says amazing. I love the fact that I have the three generations in that photo. I'm gonna choose I am blessed. I'm grateful for every day. I am so thankful and these are the good times and also to cover up the edge of that couch I'm gonna stick a large camera sticker right there and that takes care of the problem of that empty space in that photo so never feel like you have to crop a photo if you don't think you're gonna get it right and just fill it with maybe sentiments or cute little stickers or uh, or embellishments that that can cover up what you don't want showing. Like say there's somebody's face there that you don't want. Just stick a sticker on top of it. <laughs> Why not? At first I was going to add just a few stickers to each of these squares, but then I decided that, you know what, I'm gonna add something to every single one of these squares, whether I like it or not. And I kind of turned it into a little bit of a challenge to myself, which, you know, was a bit silly because don't add something you don't need to, but I actually love what I ended up doing at the very end. So I kind of like that I challenged myself and I, I often do that. If you know me, I often, you know, challenge myself and want to go up to the next, take it to the next level. I never just want to stay with the status quo. I, I always want to, to see if I can develop to another state, a better stage. I'm now ready to put the sentiment on my layout. I decided to go with stickers once again from that pack and I decided to go with blessed happiness. And I love, I love how that turned out. I'm adding double-sided sticky tape to just the back of the stickers so that the sticky tape doesn't show through the vellum. And 
And I love these clusters that I'm making in the corners of some of them. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a banner in the corner plus like a circle sticker. I love this key here. The key represents something and in my heart, I feel like the key to anything in life is your heart and the people that you love. So I love that little square there that had the key with the two hearts. I also love the butterfly with the clock. I think that with time, things develop and are better. So that's my little hidden message in that square. And uh, I love that square on the right hand side, very top. It says on a journey, fly. Number one, my father-in-law comes to visit us once a year. so that relates to that also. This picture was taken almost 15 years ago and so we are on a journey and um, yeah it was really lovely looking at that picture as well as thinking about all the time that has passed. So all that's left now is to date this photo. I'm gonna put down the date that the photo was taken and I'm also going to put down the date that I scrapped this photo. I'm grabbing my white gel pen here and I'm writing in the brown square three generations. And I'm also going to do just a little bit of journaling on the bottom brown square for my own record. Love that white gel pen, by the way, it works fabulous. Just gonna remove the branding strip and I would say that this layout is done and I'm really happy with it. So this was the sketch and this is my layout and this is the old layout versus the makeover layout and what a difference. I am so happy to be able to produce something that can do this photo justice. Thank you so much for joining me. I have one more layout for you so I hope you stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video.